It's the final day of Earth Month. KCAL 9 and CBS 2 are partnering with the Weiland Foundation to recognize people making a difference for the planet. This year's Earth Month hero is Dr. Celia Fiola. She's the expert at U e ecology at UC Irvine. And Celia is here along with Steve Creech, founder of the Weiland Foundation. Uh, we want to welcome them both. We were just talking about how quickly the year is going. Yeah. Earth Month has zipped by. Steve, first of all, how did we do? It was fantastic. You know, in the middle of the month, we had over a billion gallons of water pledged that people were agreeing mm -hmm. to conserve. So this was our biggest Earth Month ever. We've been all over Southern California with our, our volunteer teams. But, you know, this is the best part when we really get to celebrate the individuals that are making a difference on behalf of our planet. And, uh, well, we're excited today. And our hero is Celia, your assistant professor of uh, ecology and evolutionary biology. Yes. Um, at uh, UC Irvine, and um, part of your work is outside the classroom as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so as a scientist and professor at UC Irvine, I see a big mm -hmm. uh, fundamental part of my job is serving the public. And I think it's really important that scientists step out of the laboratory, uh, work with public school teachers, work with community mm -hmm. decision makers, um, and just uh, teach them about our science. You, you get the teachers, the teachers give it to the students, yes. and we, we grow a generation of, of e environmentally friendly citizens, yes, right? Yes, exactly. My goodness. And tell us a little bit about your work uh, that you do at school. Yes. Uh, so if you're anything like me, mm -hmm. you enjoy the Southern California weather mm -hmm. and maybe go hiking in the hills. Yep. Um, and if you've ever done that, you may have smelled the sage around you. They're very mm -hmm. fragrant. And my research studies those molecules. What you're studying are molecules that are emitted by plants. And the reason these plants emit the molecules is they are the language of plants. Plants use these molecules to talk to each other. They use right. them to attract pollinators. Uh, and they're also very important molecules in atmospheric chemistry. And so I study a lot of the chemistry of these molecules, how that relates to climate, and how humans are changing the molecules that plants are emitting. Well, of course, so we, we, everything that we can do, right, every little thing that we can do can help right. uh, the environment as well. Now, Celia, the Wyland Foundation so, does so much. I'm wondering, people out there are, are wondering, you know, can we reverse things? Can mm -hmm. we make things better? Or just, you know, we have to deal with what we have. Well, we've certainly committed to a certain level of warming at this point, mm -hmm. but I think uh, it's important to focus on the fact that climate change is a solvable problem. And it's solvable by facilitating these two-way dialogues between scientists and the community. And that's why the Wyland Foundation plays an essential role in facilitating this dialogue and helping connect scientists with uh, public school teachers, for example. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is where I think we're really going to start solving climate change is by getting a commitment from the public um, to, to uh, work on these issues uh, and through the, the work of, of the Wyland Foundation facilitate those interactions. And Steve, that's what you do, getting that commitment when we talk right. about the Save a Drop, the Drop the program right. too. It's, it's getting people involved. And right? it's really important that, that there are people like Celia out there who do speak a language that we can all understand. They're taking great information, they're delivering it to our communities, and that's what the foundation is trying to do. Not just inspire people, but get them informed so they can take mm -hmm. action. And you're making science fun. It sounds really interesting. Now, on my next hike, I'm going to have to start sniffing out the sage. Oh, yeah, you should. <laughs> you should. If you just touch some of the leaves and smell your fingers, you... The oils. Right? Yes. And, yes, Steve, exactly. you have something for Celia before we, we go? We do. We do. On behalf of Artist Weiland, the Weiland Foundation, and, of course, our partner, CBS and KCAL 9, Celia, we'd like to present you with the Earth Month Hero Award for 2018. Thank, Thank you, you very much for everything you do. Thank you. That is fantastic. And Steve, for the rest of the year, it's only Earth Month, but there's a whole year ahead. That's right. right. Yeah. Keep up the good work. I think everyone's done a lot of great work this Earth Month, but let's keep nice. it going 12 months All out right. of the year. We'll see you guys soon again. All Thank right. You. Thanks, Steve. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Celia. Thank you. For more information about the Wyland Foundation, just go to kcal9.com and click Seen on TV. Sandy?